Hello, hello, Gilbert. How are you, sir? Hello, Gilbert. Are you there? How are you? Are you ready for your English class? Of course. All right, let's do it. Uh, what can you remember about the previous class? What can you tell me? What do you remember? Um. <clears throat> what information do you remember about the previous class? Um, the, ob the, the objectives. Can you give me an example? Yes. Um, let me see. Okay, I will do. Uh, Because I, 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 I'm at home. <laughs> I don't have Are you on the platform? Yes. Okay, so in the previous class, we were looking at the future with present continuous and be going to, do you remember? Yes. We were talking about future plans and things like that, do you remember? Yes, to make a conversation. To make a conversation, that's right. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at the knowledge check going to look at the knowledge check which is coming from section 5.4 section 5.4 is the knowledge check okay. 5.4 knowledge check instructions complete the invitations with the present continuous used as future use the pronoun and the verb in brackets. Instrucciones. Complete las invitaciones con el presente continuo como futuro. Use los pronombres y los verbos que están en parentheses. So, in this case, you are going to complete the invitations. You have 10 minutes and I want you to finish the whole thing. 10 minutes. Hello, Patricia, are you there? Patricia, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, right now, we are working with Gilbert on section 5.4, knowledge check. 5.4, knowledge check, that's the activity that we're doing right now. Okay.
Are you finished? Are you finished or do you need more time? I need more time. Uh, need more time. Okay. How much time? Five minutes? Yes. Yeah. Five more minutes. Okay. All right, action.
Is everybody finished? Are you finished, guys? Uh, Patricia Gilbert, are you finished? No. You're not finished? No. Uh, uh, second the, the part, number two. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I don't understand. Okay, let's do it together. All right, so the first section says. Part number two. The first section says, instructions complete the responses with be going to. So number one is, I'm going to be. Second part says, well, my father is going to visit. Number three, sorry, I can't. I, I'm working, I'm going to work overtime tonight. And number four, can we go to a late show? I'm going to stay at the office till seven. All right, do you have any questions? Okay, let's go to the next activity. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Section 5.5. .5. The verbs tell and ask will be introduced in a conversation between two people talking on the phone. Los verbos decir y pedir son presentados en la conversación entre dos personas hablando en el teléfono. 5.6 Conversation Can I take a message? Listen, please. Hello everyone, in the conversation we're about to hear, two verbs very close in meaning will be used. Once you listen to the conversation, practice it as many times as possible. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Miss Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello everyone, in the conversation we're about to hear, two verbs very close in meaning will be used. Once you listen to the conversation, practice it as many times as possible. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 
646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale, I'll give Ms. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, we're going to practice the conversation. Let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Okay, Patricia, you are the secretary. And Mr. Kell is going to be Gilbert. Action. Good morning, Parker Industry. Hello, may I speak to me, Miss Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Miss Gail. Is that G A L E? No, it's K A L E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at two thirty. Friday at two thirty. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is. Six four six five 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 four zero three one. Six four six five 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 four zero oh, three one. Yes, Mr. Kale. I give Miss Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Excellent work, guys. Very good pronunciation. Now I would like for you to change roles. Gilbert, you will be the secretary. Patricia will be the caller. Action. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G A L E? No, it's K L K A L E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at two thirty. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I will give Mr. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Excellent. Very good pronunciation. I like it. All right, guys. Sounds like you guys have a really good pronunciation. I'm listening to you pronouncing the numbers and the verbs, and it sounds great. Do you have any questions? No. No. All right. Now, what you're going to do is you can work together and I want you to write a similar conversation like this one in the discussion box at the bottom. You can change, for example, the names. Instead of saying good morning, you can say good evening. Instead okay. of saying, may I speak to Ms. Graham, you could say, may I speak to Donald Trump? <laughs> and I'm sorry, he's not in, he's in Cuba. What's that? You can change it up. Okay. All right, you don't have you could follow the example and you could also change it up. Okay, teacher. You have 10 minutes. 
you can work together. No, Patricia. No, Gilberto. Who are you? Hi. Yes. Very good. Let's do it. Mm. Okay. And uh, we use the our name. Gilberto Patricia. And the conversation. Start. Okay, we start and we go morning and guys. Good evening. Oh, good afternoon. Okay. <laughs> Stark Industries. Okay. <laughs> Stark Industries. Hello, may I? May I speak to my sir? Mr. Stark. <laughs> yes, Mr. Stark. No. Okay, I'm sorry. He's not in. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's not in. Can I yeah. take a message? Yeah. Yes. Yes, please. Who's calling? I'm sorry? Who's calling? Um, this is you? Okay.
we use the, uh, your name or your last name? Uh, my name. Okay. And the meeting is, what is the day of the meeting? Uh, so Saturday at night, at nine. And uh, all hours? Saturday at nine am. Okay. All right, all right. Time's up. Time's up, everybody. Are you finished? Is everybody finished? Uh, no teacher. Hello, are uh, you finished? I'm sorry, I, I couldn't hear you. Please hello, tell hello. him or me. I cannot hear you. Hello, hello. 
Can you Hello, hear me? teacher? I lost connection there for a little bit. Okay. What was your back. question? Are you guys finished? Yeah. One or two minutes more, please. All right. Let me know. Number. Okay. Uh, my number is one, two, three. Okay. Two, five, five. Three, three, two, one. All right, let us continue to the next activity. Are you ready? Yes. All right, we're going to be looking at section 5.7, lesson objective. By the end of this session, you will be able to take and give a message using tell and ask. Al final de esta clase, Usted será capaz de tomar y dar un mensaje usando los verbos decir y pedir. Video. Messages with tell and ask. Listen, please. Let's continue, shall we? Now let's go over on how to take and give a phone message using the verbs tell and ask. Get your papers ready and take notes during the explanation. Page 103, exercise eight, grammar focus. Messages with tell and ask. Statement. The meeting is on Friday. Messages with a statement. Hello, everyone. Please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Request. Call me this afternoon. Messages with a request. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follow. Tell plus person plus that plus the statement. And because we want to be polite, we may add please, could you or would you. Notice that 
is in brackets because it may be omitted. When leaving a message with a request, this is how we should do it. Ask plus person plus two. All right, did you finish watching the video? Guys, did you finish watching the video or you want to